Hi, welcome to this tutorial on squaring a bracket. Now in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is examples like this one, x plus 3 all squared, and I'm going to show you how to expand this very efficiently without putting down too much working. Now whenever you get students who get questions like this, x plus 3 all squared, it's very common to see this kind of answer that this is identical to x squared plus 9. Now this is totally wrong. So don't make this mistake. So what is it? Let's just rub that out, okay? What is x plus 3 all squared? Well in order to do this, what I'm going to do first of all is just expand it by putting two brackets like this. I'll show you a quick way as I say later on. But for the moment, we'll just expand it with the two brackets. In the usual way, we just do x times x, which is x squared, then x times the 3, which is plus 3x, plus 3 times that x is another 3x, and then 3 times 3 is going to be plus 9. So we don't get x squared plus 9. What you can see is we get these two extra terms, 3x and 3x. They come from doing x times 3 and x times 3 again. So what we get is x squared plus two lots of those 3x's. In other words, plus 6x, then the plus 9. Let's try it with another one. This time we'll have a number in front of the x. Say 3x and then we'll have 3x minus 5 all squared. What do you think this will be? Well, for this example, what we'll do again is we'll just put the two brackets out, 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5. But what we're going to be doing in the next example is doing away with these brackets and going straight to the answer. But again, just as a reminder, what we get is 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. Then we get 3x times minus 5, which is minus 15x, and we get another minus 15x here. And finally, we get minus 5 times minus 5, which is plus 25. So what happens is that we end up squaring the first term. 3x all squared is 9x squared. We end up with two lots of the product here. 3x times minus 5, which is minus 15x, and if we do twice that, we end up with minus 30x. And finally, the plus 25 came from squaring the last term. So with that idea, we should be able to go straight to the answers of these kind of questions. So for instance, if we had then x plus 4, all squared, we know that what happens is that we end up squaring the first term, so we get x squared. We then get twice the product, so the product is x times 4, which is 4x. We double that and we get plus 8x. And then we end up with plus 4 all squared, which is plus 16. So, you should be able to do hopefully some more examples very similar to this. I mean suppose we have x minus 6 all squared. You could try that one. And here's another one. x minus 3 over 2 all squared. I chose this one just because of this awkward fraction here. And what about reversing it round a bit, say 3 plus 2x this time, all squared. Will that change things? And why don't we have, say, 4 minus 5x all squared? OK, I'll give you a few moments just to pause the video, have a go at these, see what you think. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just run through these then. The first one. Square the first term then, we get x squared. 
double the product. The product here is x times minus 6, which is minus 6x. Double that and you get minus 12x. Square the last term. Minus 6, if you square it, is going to be plus 36. Now for this one, how do you get on with this one? Again, we square the first term, x squared. The product of the two terms, x times minus 3 over 2, is going to give minus 3x over 2. And if you double that, you end up with minus 3x. And then we've got to square the last term. And squaring something like this is very easy if you leave it top heavy. you just got to square the top and square the bottom. So we end up with plus 3 squared, which is 9, over 2 squared, which is 4. And what about this one? When I've reversed the terms, it doesn't make any difference. All you've got to do is square the first term, 3 squared, which is 9. The product here is 3 times 2x, which is 6x. Double that and you get plus 12x. And then square the last term, which is going to be 2x times 2x, which is plus 4x squared. And finally, with this last one, square the 4. 4 fours are 16. The product is minus 20x, so you just got to double that now, so that's minus 40x. And then the last term squared, minus 5x times minus 5x is plus 25x squared. So hopefully that gives you a good idea now of how to go about squaring a bracket without having to resort to too much work. Okay, well thanks for listening and I hope that's been of some use to you.